works. Mm. Right, I'm using a Fuji Fine Picks HS10. It's got a 30 times zoom. So I'm just going to do a little experiment here and see what it looks like on video. I've never zoomed in this much before. I normally just zoom in just you know a few yards but never this much. Right, we're at Battles Bridge, a uh, classic car show and um, in Essex and we live in Rayleigh and we can see in the distance a um, right what can we see? Right, in the distance there's a blue building with a windmill above it and that's Brady where we live. I'm going to see how far I can pull this zoom in. It's not a, it's not a smooth zoom. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Today it's not, so it'll be jerky. Concentrating. Whoops. Sorry, it's me. I'm not concentrating. I've never tried this before. Uh, and this is one of the failings of the Fuji Fine Picks HS10. I'm afraid that, that the, the zoom is jerking. You can see jerking all the time. Right, that's the closest I can get. Um, so we can see. Uh, that blue building, which is Macros, in Rayleigh, and you can see in the far distance a windmill. I can't hold it any steadier, I'm afraid, at this amount of zoom. So I shall zoom back out again now. Yeah, I'm trying so hard to do this smoothly, but it just won't. Such a shame, because apart from that, it's a perfect camera. But you can see the jerk, jerk, jerk all the time. But you can also see it does pull things in really tight. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it does. That is good. I'll try that again. See the fins of our Chrysler New Yorker here. 1961. You can see our little prefect here. Just behind it. So I'll try that again. See, see if it will go smoother. I thought maybe it may go smoother the second time I try, but it's really not. Gosh, no, it's not. It's very windy, so that would be the noise and, and uh, movement. It's a very, very windy day here. Can't hold it steady. No, we'll go back. Yeah, so jerky. I don't know. It, sometimes it works smoothly, but it doesn't which is a shame you can see a field here so I'll show the field and then I'll try and uh, zoom in and see how much we can see so New Yorker again all right okay and here's my other half Jeff so I'm gonna try and zoom in and try again Oh, now it's doing it smoothly this time. Oops, a little bit of jerk. Right, so I'm going to go in as, that's as tight as I can go. And I'm now going to, um, whoo, this is really, sorry, I'm, I'm not used to doing this. I'm trying to see, ah, that's all the furthest fields. not to shake you really can't help it but this is um, the fields I showed you earlier the distance and I pulled everything right in this is the perimeter of the fence of, of this field so it does pull it in I'm trying so hard to be steady but you can't with with a 30 times zoom I can't be any steadier but you can certainly see 
does pull things in. Whoop, there we go. And I'll pan back out. So yeah, it does pull things in very very tightly. Yeah, it certainly does. Yeah, it's, it's such a shame about the jerk feature, it really is. There you go, so that's our, that's our 58 full prefect. Yep. Yeah, that's quite good, isn't it? That's quite a good zoom pull in, I'll do it again. So this, so this video is made um, more to sort of test out the zoom feature than to film anything particularly of interest today, just because uh, I've never tried it. Uh, apart from that, it's a fantastic camera. Woo, yeah, that does pull it in. That's the standard lens on this camera. Okay, thank you. I hope you find this of interest. Bye-bye.